This video will orient you to the drafting features unique to the MEP toolset as a way to streamline drawing production and also set you up to be able to automate calculations. Calculations will be covered in another video. Today I will be showing you how to create wiring in AutoCAD MEP. Traditionally we've drawn lines or arcs between devices to show their connections but there's no, there's no intelligence attached to those wires. We had to go and pick the right layer and then what type of line we wanted to draw in order to create the wires between objects. In AutoCAD MEP, we actually have intelligent lines and arcs and other shapes that we use can use to connect devices. I'm gonna to go to the Manage tab to our Style Manager and pick Wire Styles. This will show you the different types of wires that are available in your project and their properties. You can add or delete or modify any of these to suit your needs. This is how we create intelligence wires in AutoCAD MEP. There are several ways to access the command. One, I can use my tool palette. Over to wire, if I wanted to connect these receptacles, I would go 230 power wiring. I would pick what type of style if I wanted to. I would say I want to create an arc, a line, a spline, snake, all sorts of different shapes. I would give it an elevation, assign it a system, and a panel board, which is LP1, our panel board here. Then I just hover over the item till I see the green connector, and then connect here and hit enter. I have now created a wire between these two devices that has intelligence attached to it. It automatically put in the tick marks. I can move those around if I need to clean up the drawing. I can flip them in different directions if I need to, to how, that was, how I want to show them. I can also just click on a device and it will see a little addition sign here and I'll click on it. Now if I want, I'll change to arc. There's my elevation. You'll see it's all assigned. Then I'll here. I'm just going to go ahead and connect all these while I'm at it here. So I will continue to move around to connect all of the devices. And finally, I will go to the junction box. Then what I will do is I will hit enter, click the direction of the uh, of the power of the power of a panel board just like this and it'll automatically create my home run for me so now I have intelligent devices or objects between each of the devices here if I go here and I go to this light and click on it and I go add I can add a connector here again I can pick the arc I can give it an elevation you know there's where, what do I want to connect up to? This time I want to connect up to my, my ceiling lights. So I'll change that to that. Just leave the same circuit. Then I will merely go and connect each of the devices just like I had before. And I can just go from one to the other. You will notice these are different colors. They're actually on a different layer then these these wires over here because AutoCAD MEP automatically assigns the layers to each of the each of the wires as we create them based on what system we put them in this is just an example to show you how easy it is to add wires in AutoCAD MEP